an interesting doc I saw over the weekend. Um, the Marilyn Monroe doc. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw that. It's good too. You saw it? Yeah. It was pretty good, right? Yeah, that that, that was legit. It was. I mean, yeah, it was well done. Did they touch on her death? Yeah. And, and, I, it's all about it. Gotcha. And it's this guy. It's basically interviewing and in, in with this guy who has been trying to solve it for years, but he's got tapes of interviews with everybody. Right. That's crazy. Like Peter. Even the Kennedys. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got uh, recorded. Uh, Recorded audio conversations, of conversations and things. Yeah, like it's he's got like Peter Lawford, Jane Russell. Does he have a good idea of who did it and why? And oh, it's pretty. Yeah. He makes it pretty and evident. Who, and what did he? What did he make evident? Uh, you she was a risk. Yeah, right. She That's was you a know, liability. Yeah. She knew yeah. too much. Yeah. She at, when she came out. In in an interview, someone asked her, and she said she had just finished hanging with the president, talking nuclear possibilities. Right. Oh shit! Like that. That was in that in that time, a woman a is not to be talking about anything like that. A with a with the president, or it shouldn't be even smart enough to even (laughs) have that conversation. You know, they looked really down on on her for even having that. So it was like, well, if she's willing to come out and. just tell everyone that she's gonna spill secrets. She's gonna spill secrets, and she was, she was at it with both the president and and, and, and Bobby, right? She and was Bobby, a threat. she was Bobby. a threat. She was that's definitely crazy. a threat. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, she was. Uh, that's she was why rocking. what happened happened. She was rocking with both brothers. Like hey. And DiMaggio or somebody, right? She married DiMaggio, yeah. 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 And then like that was nine months, right? Seven or nine. That was months? it. Oh, yeah. Wow. She got like it sounded like she had pretty much she had fun. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't. No, but she was cool though. You know what I mean? She was like, she really wanted to learn acting. Right. And she was pretty good. She was good. She too. was getting there. Yeah, she was on her way. She was winning a ton of awards. Yeah. But she had stories, man. Yeah. yeah. The Maggio yeah. couldn't hang with her. You know, <laughs> really famous up no. like that. Yeah. Yeah. She just couldn't do it. You mm. know. That's you know. It's a tough thing to deal with. Yeah, it's a really good doc, so it's on Netflix. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Man. And I know. Did you see Winning Time last night? Not <laughs> yet. What is it? Um, it's the the thing based off the Lakers on Showtime. Oh no, I gotta see. I need. Yeah. To oh, it's a great. It's a great. It's, it's a based great off of the Showtime era Lakers. It's fucking pretty good. I love. Yeah. I love how it keeps hinting at Pat Riley. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. They show him slicking his hair back, and you're like, oh, it's coming. Yeah. You know what Adrian I mean? That's Bro- cool. Adrian Brody's a good Pat Riley. Woo! He's really good in this in this series. And you know what I just realized? Two Jonah Hills are part of the production on this. Oh, he's he's doing a lot. That yeah, day. I was like, what the he fuck? Direct- no way. He directed an episode, too. That shit yeah. was crazy. They're all killing it. Yeah. That dude's doing a lot, man. He's cool. There's I want no- to see him as uh, Jerry Garcia, Jerber. Oh, word. In the Grateful Dot, in the Grateful Dead, uh, oh, the biopic. He's playing, he's playing Jerry Garcia. Yeah, he's gonna play Jerry Bear. All right. I, I, I saw. Uh, I've been checking out this new uh, series. It's called The Offer, which mm-hmm. is based on the making of The Godfather. I, I've been Ooh, seeing. What's that? I've on? been seeing advertisers and trailers for that. I yeah, gotta check it out. So so far, it's pretty. It's pretty good. You know, it's like three episodes in out of ten. Mm. And uh, you know, if you guys are into Godfather at all. It's one of my favorite films, you know. Okay. It is all all the madness that went into oh, cool. trying to make that that film. Yeah, you know, really? and everything like that. And, and yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, wow. pretty interesting. It's so all far. documentary. No, it's not. No, it's a. Oh. It's, a it's a series. It's like oh, based, okay. but it's based on the 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 recollections from the main producer of that film, and you know how okay. the, how how I had to deal with the mob. Yeah. How they had to deal with it, Paramount, the whole thing. So you know, probably Marlon Brando too, right? Yeah, all of that, sure. all of that. Now they didn't, you know, they didn't want Brando, they didn't want Al Pacino, they didn't want a lot of stuff. So they didn't want it filmed in New York. They, I mean, it was a lot of things, and it be, and it saved Paramount, but well, Paramount was tanking. Wow. So it, it's really <laughs> it's really interesting to check out. I, I'd Jeez. recommend it. You know, I would love to see that. There's a <coughs> knowing how those movies are made or were, were made with all the obstacles in their way is it reminds me of. There, I heard there's like a is there a killer doc about how Apocalypse Now, 
Like it supposedly was this hugely difficult oh, movie yeah. to get yeah, made. There and, is. And people were pretty much getting super. It was like fucked oh, up. Oh yeah, Marlon Brando once again. Yeah, yeah. having it, to deal with him <laughs> at at that word. point. He Martin Sheen. He got out. a heart attack during that. Yeah. And Martin Sheen, uh, I think, was an alcoholic at that time. Like yep. he was having crazy problems with with yeah. alcohol. Yeah. And they were all and <laughs> you had fucking De- Dennis Hopper who was on LSD <laughs> down there. <laughs> Dennis Hopper. They, see, shit. I want to. I want to. There's. I want to learn about the Godfather, and I want to yeah. see if there's. A, is there a doc about this, or is I think it just? So. I need to see it. Yeah, they were going through things filming those movies, boy. Yeah. And it brought out masterpieces. Yeah. Masterpieces, yeah. So crazy. I know everybody's watching Ozark. I, I'm most people. Oh, you finished it. I already see, finished yeah, it. Yeah, what? I oh, just. Shit. I need to save. Done. Yeah, we're at the same spot. Yeah. I wanted to save it for one or two more nights, so I just have something <laughs> to watch. I know it's over. Yeah. But it's been fucking good since. It's so good. It's been good. It's really, yeah. really good, man. That's crazy how they fucking just put it all in one shot. Yeah. Like they didn't stretch it. Like. Yeah. Nah. But they don't do that. Well, they kind of did because they broke it seven and seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they did break, break the yeah. season. Yeah. So. They try to slow it down. Yeah. But without giving up, then are you happy yeah, so with far. the way that it ended? Oh, yeah. That, I already asked you. That. Yeah, me? Yep. Uh, Yes. Which is great. Yeah. We I, don't want to know nothing, but we're, no, we're happy that no. you're happy with the ending. I think there's a lot of people are going to say they could still continue. Man. Okay. But mm. I like how everything just ended. Right, you like the way if it left that yeah. way, it could stay that way. Absolutely. Good, good. good. That's a good Sort idea. of how they should have left Breaking Bad without El Camino. Oh, Fucking God, ass. I won't even watch yeah. it. Like, yeah. Don't watch the thing it. Is, just my opinion. Well, yeah. well, the thing is, if, if, if this is truly done, right. Ozark Season 4 is truly done, then, yeah, it should be done. Then. Right, good. You know what I mean? That's like, dope. good. Work. So. To hear nothing worse than a I'll bad t- ending. Yeah. But it's an amazing series, and and Jason Bateman did his thing. He always does it. Always. Does. Hey, Jason Bateman, man. Yeah. He's great, man. He's a great actor. Dude. Even since back in, wait, was he Family Ties, or which, what show was he his on? His sister was Family Ties. Which one he was on? Arrested uh, Development. Arrested Development. No, man, I'm talking about from the 80s. He was well, one of the I think, his sisters. I, I, I think he started on Silver Spoons. Was like, it as, Sil- as a Little as House a, on the Prairie? No, no, he was on either Family, not uh, Family Ties. Um, family Ties was his not sister. Not Hogan Family. He was on one of those, Jason Bateman. No, he wasn't on a big show. He I'm was, he, he, he got a spin. I'm going. He got a spin from Silver Spoons. He was, was on with yeah. Ricky Schroeder. Yep. And he got he got a spinoff series from that that didn't last that long, but he was killing it as the kid in that series, and so he always worked. Yep. But there uh, he didn't like there was not like a popular, the Hogan family. The Hogan family. Yep. Yeah. You remember and, the Hogan family? Yeah. That was still big enough. That's where I knew him from because yeah. he was on that one. And his sister was Mallory in Family yep. Ties. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mallory. He was also on a uh, Little House in the Prairie. Yep. He was? Yeah, yeah. he's a young Yeah, he's been, he's been act- started. Yeah, Dude. he's been acting since he was He was on Martin. He's a child actor. Martin. Well, he was he started as a child actor. <laughs> yeah, he like, did. Sort of like Kurt Russell. Yeah. Yep. He's truly been oh, really? through Hollywood. What did Kurt Russell do as <clears throat> Oh, he was a Disney. Remember? Dude, he oh, was a Disney? he was a Musketeer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. He was a Musketeer and then he, you know, he did all those movies later just Killing it and Kurt Russell's yeah. he's the best. Yep. And I just learned from the insane asylum that that 70s show is gonna have a spin-off with yep. that 90s show. Hell yeah. Word. Well, that'll be interesting. All the original with, cast with the original cast, huh? Yep. All Except right. for uh Danny Masterson. Yes, oh. they are not bringing him back. Oh, that sucks. Well, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. How do you, well, they're gonna write him off as a death. I, think. I don't know. It's Man, but, they shouldn't even mention them. Yeah, they're probably yeah, right. not even gonna mention him. But I think that. How do you not mention him? He was one of the main characters. I mean, they, some maybe shows they, do that. Mm, nah. Like when they killed Roseanne off. Yeah, but you. Oh, word. that was epic. How did yeah. they write her off? She died, right? Yeah, she died. Exactly. She done died. That's what I'm saying. They usually write him off with a death. Yep. Or South Park did it to Chef. Yeah. Who? That was the coldest. That was the ever. coldest that was cold write off right there. Boy. Hey, because all they <laughs> did is take all the old recorded audio they ever had of him and edited these 
really fucked up like yeah things and the way they had oh man they tried to embarrass the shit out of him. They did. They did. It's because yeah. he they refused. Didn't try. They did. He refused to do an episode that mocked the like, Scientology. Scientology yep. and well, because he he's a Scientologist. So. Yeah. So they were like, not only are we going to make this episode about you, let's make it about both. Man, but they, they mocked everything. Well, supposedly everything. he still wanted to do it, but like you know, they made him quit. Yeah. So but yeah, the church was like, nah, dog. No, you cannot. Yeah, when that show yeah. South Park, they mocked everything. And he was everything. he was right along with it. You yeah, know, they what don't mean? fucks around. And then when <laughs> it came to Scientology, he says, uh nope. Uh <laughs> Hello, children. L R H is not down <laughs> with that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs>